In this video, we're going to go over everything that Update 12 has to offer, and I'm going to tell you how you can get this new free-to-play huge for yourself. And besides all that, we have a lot of extremely important changes that we need to go over, along with some pretty cool new features that Big Games has added in this update. And we're also going to be talking about how you can get these brand new prison keys, which are actually going to be your ticket to getting these free to play huges, as well as that those keys actually tie into the clan battle. So that's also something we got to talk about, but we'll discuss that in a second. And on top of all of that other stuff, Big Games also did some changes that aren't included in the patch notes. So these ones are going to be super important for you to know, so you could be ahead of the game. But remember to like and subscribe and let's get right into all these changes. So first of all, I'm just going to start off by reading some of these patch notes. Now, of course, you guys can already see I'm here in the prison world. So I did already rebirth and go through all the levels and then unlock each of the five stages that we have currently. So once you're done with that rebirth eight, you get access to this brand new prison world, which comes with new prison pets, prison eggs, prison cells, as well as prison keys. Now, these prison keys are extremely important and are pretty much the focal point of this update in a nutshell now besides the prison world we also have access to this void hub which is now actually how you get to the prison world but i'll actually take you guys over to the void world right now just just so you guys can get a little look at it so as you guys can see this is kind of just like a little hub where we also have access to this void chest as well as the void spinny wheel that we were talking about earlier there's also a vip area here as well not sure if this is any better than the old one but i'm sure there's really not much of a use for this one either so besides that we also have the supercomputer here which is actually important to note that the supercomputer is going to be here in the void world and actually not in the prison world at all so in the future you can see that this hub is going to be able to lead us into all the new worlds so there's going to be portals to all the new worlds as they keep adding them so if we head back into the prison world we could see that there's honestly not too much like there's not really a ton going on here in the prison world At the moment we currently only have access to these four stat pet eggs and honestly if you look there's like not many stat pets that are actually in these but it is important to note that breakables in these areas have a very high amount of health so getting these new stat pets is going to be super important if you're going to want to be able to do enough damage to actually farm them but let's keep going through these patch notes so so as you can see these patch notes aren't much longer but we also have the new global event the new clan event as well as the brand new superior chest mimic enchant which actually has a major twist that i didn't expect and i'm not sure if anyone else really expected this but let's not get too ahead of ourselves let's actually look at this brand new clan event as you guys can see we have the fragmented clan battle which is what we expected but we weren't sure exactly what this clan battle was going to have us doing but as you can see this clan battle is actually whoever can collect the most amount of prison keys and then they also did a change with the rewards that you get from clan battles with different levels of these huges actually being given out to the various clans. So all the clan members in the clan four through 10 are gonna get this regular fragmented Dominus, two to three is gonna get the golden, and then the top clan that wins the clan battle is gonna be able to get the rainbow fragmented Dominus. So that's pretty cool. I think this is a good change just so people actually feel like there is a purpose to getting like two to three as well as four to 10. So it makes it a little more competitive and I think more people will keep trying. So that's good. Now, if you're wondering what the prison keys are, prison keys are basically just a droppable that you're going to be able to get from breakables just regularly. And it's super important to know, unlike the core battle that we were having the other day, these prison keys are actually not tradable at all. So this is actually not a pay to win clan battle at all, it seems. Now, obviously, there are going to be some pay to win features that do make it easier to get these keys. Obviously, some game passes like super drops will enable you to get more keys than others. But besides that, it's a pretty free to play friendly clan battle, and it's just going to be whoever can grind the most. So this is going to be very interesting to see. And then I would also assume that all of the builds that incorporate item drops and stuff are going to be super good for this clan battle because people are going to want to try to get those keys in whichever way possible they can and besides these keys just being drops for the clan battle what these keys allow you to do is open up these cells which your friends are going to be inside and you're going to be able to use that to open up this brand new crate that's in here and that gives you a chance at one of these new free to play huges now this new feature is actually pretty sick because whoever you have on your friends list has a chance to be in one of these cells and you can basically use the key to break in and then free them so as you guys can see my trading account is in there 
there and he is doing push-ups he's locked up for good now besides the regular prison keys we also have access to the golden prison keys which actually give you a 10 times chance to get that huge from that chest now these keys drop in the same way that the regular prison keys do they're just rng based so you can just get them from drops from breakables as well as whatever item and chance that you have in your loadout so as you can see i have one here and we're going to use that to actually free mateo here use the golden key and then we're going to get access to this 10 times huge odds chance now at the time of recording this there seems to be a major bug with these chests because if you look at the loot it actually has the tech chest loot and it doesn't have the new free to play huge in here but nonetheless we already used the key so let's actually open it and it seems like we got some absolute trash so i don't know if it is just bugged but that might just be the current loot i'm gonna go ahead and use the rest of my keys and open these up now once you open all the cells in your area you can just server hop and get brand new cells like this as you can see there's no actual prisoner in this one but not sure if that's supposed to be like that now the huge that is supposed to be in these chests is going to be that new prison cat that i showed you in the leak video yesterday so if you're watching this video and the huge cyber agony is still in these prison cells i would just hold off and not use your keys for now because i think the new chests are going to have better chances for stuff than these do i'm pretty sure something just got mixed up and it's just giving you the loot pool from the tech chest now i'll have a picture that they did include in the dev blog which is a picture of the three new huges that we got in this update in the back here you can see the prison cat which is supposed to be the huge that's going to be in this chest but as you can see right now it is currently glitched and then in the back right of this picture we have the atomic huge cat now this is going to be the new huge that you can actually get from the spinny wheel so that's really cool and then right in front of it that's the brand new clan event huge that we already went over that's going to be the fragmented dominus and then in the front left of that picture that is actually going to be the holographic cat which is going to be what you can get from the void chest so we actually do have four Four new huges not three like i said earlier but very cool we have a lot of new options to get some of these brand new huges you can either spin the wheel open the new chest or open these crates once they are fixed now the last thing we need to cover in this list is actually the superior chest now according to the dev blog there are actually naturally spawning superior chests as well and these are supposed to drop three times the loot as regular mini chests now on top of them having three times better loot than regular mini chests supposedly they also spawn three times less than regular mini chest now obviously we're gonna have to do a lot of testing to actually see how this actually plays out in the real game but as we do know when big game says that something drops three times better loot or two times better loot that usually honestly doesn't actually mean that for some reason when they say that it never really ends up to actually being that much better of loot drops for example with that last exclusive enchant we had the mini chest fortune it said that mini chest drops were also supposed to be better and from thorough testing it seems like there really wasn't much of a difference from using it versus not using it now if you don't want to wait for the random spawning superior chest we can also go into the exclusive shop and as you can see they actually removed all of the exclusive enchants as well as the exclusive ultimate which was the nightmare ult and they replaced that with just the superior chest mimic which is actually pretty crazy because they've never done this ever in pet simulator 99 if you watched my leak video yesterday i said that they would most likely just keep those three exclusive enchants and then add this as a fourth new one because they have done something like that in the past or that there was a small chance they would just remove one of the exclusives and replace it with this one but instead they just scrapped all of them in the shop and replaced it with this one big one now i assume this is because those other exclusive enchants weren't selling at all anyways so they probably didn't care much to keep any of them in the shop but now that they only have this one they are probably going to get a lot of sales and there's going to be a lot of these things in existence now i was wrong about quite a bit of the predictions i made in yesterday's video because as you can see in the description it actually is considered a mini chest now by it being considered a mini chest that has a lot of implications in the game because it brings up the question if we can actually expect to get better loot from those chests 
because they are considered mini chests. As well as the breakables mastery, we also have that mini chest fortune, which says it's supposed to give you better drops from mini chests. So that brings up the question of whether or not the game actually considers superior mini chests to be in that same group. So we'll have to see if that enchant actually benefits the superior mini chest as well. Now it is super early into the update and I haven't done enough testing or seen enough testing to really say whether or not this enchant is really that good. But according to the information that I got from my community and people that are in the game that actually have been using it, they've been saying it really is not that good. Now the reason for this is it seems like the drops from the superior mini chest actually aren't that good. And that combined with the fact that they spawn three times less than typical mini chests probably just means that it's not gonna give you that much of a benefit. Now besides that, we actually have some other major news that they didn't even include in the patch notes for some reason but as you can see from the crystal chest you can actually get the gold and rainbow versions of the huge wizard westy which is actually huge since you're going to be able to get these from this crystal chest the crystal key value are probably going to go up quite a bit because the potential that you could get from this is a lot more now as you guys can see there's already 35 of the golden ones and five of the rainbow ones in existence so this is pretty cool if you guys didn't know already the huge wizard westy is a decently high chance to get from these crystal chests so it's going to be interesting to see how much these crystal keys are going to be worth especially now that you can get rainbow and gold huges from it and besides that they also added the gold and rainbow versions of the huge cyber agony to the tech chest so that also should bring up the value of those keys because you're going to be able to get a lot more from opening this chest now so that's really cool a good addition from the game so besides all that that seems like it's pretty much all that we got included in this new update some pretty interesting stuff i do hope they fix the chests inside the cells pretty soon so we can go ahead and try to begin opening it for those free to play huges and when that does i probably will have a video out asap on the best way to actually get those huges as well as to get all the keys to actually open the cells themselves so look out for that and let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this update i still think it's pretty decent for a weekly update update obviously it doesn't have as much content as the backrooms ones did but i guess we'll have to wait and see thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you in the next one and peace out